Mr. Ibrahim Magu, for the second time, walked down the stairs in the hollowed chambers of the Senate and takes his place in the screening box. A mixture of professionalism, courage and sacrifice, as well as the support of critical stakeholders, such as the National Assembly, we succeeded in building the foundation upon which the EFC stands today. We plan to engage the judiciary to seek creative ways in which we can complement each other and reduce unnecessary bottleneck in trying cases of corruption. We are also working on making our financial intelligence unit, the NFIU, a more robust tool for dealing with money laundering, terrorist financing, and associated crime. Senate President Bukola Saraki talked briefly before and other senators asked Mr. Mago several questions, which he attempted to provide answers to. It's more believed the ready to fight corruption, but it has to be done in accordance with the law. And that's where the rule of the law comes in. So what's your take in making sure that in doing your work, you do it within the ambit of the law and also the respect for judiciary, which you even mentioned? Because if you don't obey court orders, I don't think that is respect for the judiciary. You have the power of forfeiture of people's property. Can you please explain the procedure that you always use and the end result? And also, how do you dispose of these properties after it has been forfeited from people? That you should, the last report we received by the director of SSS has raised a lot of um, uh, allegations. Well, so yeah. after the report, well, the SSS satisfied with the report, if it's true, then let us know. There were two reports from the SSS on the same date, two varying reports on that same date. So it's, uh, it's really very difficult. But, but uh, the other thing, the other allegation is that, sir. The other allegation is that I am staying in a house bought for me by Air Commando Mohammed Umar. But this is not true, sir. Three stolen asset. What happened before we take or oh, trace an asset, it must have been connected to criminalities. The game changed and trouble started for Mr. Magu when Senator Dino Milaye from Kogi State drew the attention of lawmakers to paragraph 14, page 5 of the resubmitted security report by the Department of State Security Service. Paragraph 14 of that report reads thus In the light of the foregoing, many other issues have been mentioned. In the light of the foregoing, MAGU, M-A-G-U, MAGU in capital letters, has failed the integrity test and will eventually constitute a liability to the anti-corruption drive of the present administration. Mr. Magu, who appeared infuriated by Milai's revelation, lashed out at the DSS and accused it of not giving him a fair hearing. How can you submit two different reports on the same matter? The same date, the same date. So, 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 I have, I have respect for everybody in this court. That goes to tell you the credibility of such an issue. I don't know whether, sir. Please, you need to check whether there is anybody, F O Adams, in in SSS. A belated attempt by the immediate past Senate leader Ali Ndume to salvage the situation proved unfruitful as the damage done by Senator Dino's contribution was very severe. The issue of letter from DSS has been raised. I have two letters here. One of them is addressed to you. One is addressed to the clerk. One is addressed to the uh, to national uh, SA. That is what has been done. <laughs> Number one. Number two, Mr. President. Yesterday, we got a letter from Custom. Signed by an assistant director to the clerk, who said that was not the right thing to do. 
this letter, if what it should have been written and signed by the DGSS. The Senate President thereafter put the confirmation question before the Senate. Those against Mr. Magu appears to be very overwhelming as the nays had it. So those in favor that the nomination of Mr. Brian Magu is hereby as chairman of the of the Economic and Financial Crimes and Commission. Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The nay is having. For now, all eyes are on President Muhammad Buhari to see what he would do next. Would he resubmit Magu's name for the third time or nominate another person? Only time would tell. Osarona may be ITV News, Abuja.